being a computer science engineer, I started my career working on autonomous, self-driving vehicles, and now I take care of babies. This is how it all started. Let me introduce you to my friend, Siva. So we used to hang out all the time, uh, party on the weekends, and uh, I saw him um, as, a, as a really, really good friend, and we used to attend hackathons all the time. In fact, that's our moment of celebration. And about two years ago, something happened which completely changed our relationship and his life. His daughter, Lena, was born. So he was extremely excited to welcome the newest member of family. Two, two weeks down the line, this happened. So his life was a whole mess, and the reality sunk in. He started realizing that his top three priorities in life, like other parents, was feeding the baby, changing the diapers, and the most important thing, putting the baby to sleep so that he can get some rest himself. So, but what I saw happening with Siva was he was barely getting any sleep. And in fact, over 60% of parents who have newborns less than 24 months old, they sleep for less than three hours a day. And this brings in a lot of anxiety, especially when his daughter was a lot cranky. He started realizing that, is my baby okay? Like every other parent, he went and bought a video monitor, only to see this. This is not a picture, but this is a video of a perfectly healthy baby sleeping in the crib. So I wanted to help Siva, and we started stumbling upon, how can we do this much better? We went and spoke with over 300 parents and realized that video monitors don't solve the problem. In fact, they cause even more anxiety. And parents don't like the alternative, which is putting wearable sensors on their newborn sensitive skin. And we all live in a generation where we track how many steps we took, how many calories we ate, and now there is this newborn and we know nothing about it. So we decided to do something better. So in fact, being engineers, what we started to look at was, is there a way we can tell that the baby is okay when she is sleeping in the crib? And for that, we considered three solutions. The first one is sonar, which is emitting sound waves and looking at the breathing by reflected sound waves. The second is using radar, emitting microwaves and looking at reflected waves from the baby. And the third one is computer vision. What we wanted to do was try to see if we can analyze videos and extract the vital patterns of the baby. Turns out that video is harmless, you don't emit anything, and that was the perfect thing for us. And this is what we came up with. This is introducing Cocoon Cam, and we are able to detect heartbeat, breathing, and temperature of the baby at a 10-foot distance without any wearables on the baby. So this was our very first pilot application in the field. Parents were able to see the real-time breathing patterns of the baby on their phone application without risking the baby waking up. And the way it works is very simple. You put the camera on top of the baby crib, just like you would with any other camera, and now you get a notification when there's something unusual, and you can monitor the real-time breathing patterns of the baby on your phone. And to validate this further, we actually tested this with over 100 families, and in fact, with over 100,000 hours of videos, and built a reliable system which works no matter whether it's day or night, no matter where, which position or where the baby is sleeping in the crib. Now your question may be, how is this even possible? In fact, we have a three-step process which does it. The first thing, what we call is baby recognition. From the videos that we collected, we have built deep learning models, which actually, in simple terms, identifies that first, there is a baby in the crib, and second thing, this is exactly where the baby is in the crib. And once we do that, we extract the vital patterns. So for example, if you want to get the heartbeat, every time your heart beats, your skin gets a little lighter and darker, no matter what your skin tone is. We measure those minute skin color changes with a camera. The second thing, to get your breathing, we measure the minute changes in your chest and abdominal movement to get breathing. And the third thing is temperature. So we pull out a temperature sensor, which is usually used in cars for climate control, and we configure that to track the, the temperature patterns of the baby as it sleeps through the night. And the last step process is we want to show you the real-time breathing pattern or the vital patterns of your baby 
and of course, eliminate all the noise. And to simplify this even further, and to make the technology even more accessible, so we wanted to power every single camera with this technology. So the way it works is the videos are streamed in real time to the cloud where all the computer vision happens and your vitals are seen on your smartphone. With this technology, we can power any camera and make the solution more accessible, cheaper, as well as bring this faster to the market. And currently, we are focusing on de delivering custom alerts. That means you get a ping on your smartphone whenever the baby wakes up, or it starts crying, or its vital patterns are unusual. Second is sleep training. We can measure how much time did the baby sleep last night, and why is it cranky today? The third thing is, using predictive analytics, we can ping you even before the baby wakes up, so that you can be ready to take care of the baby. Thank you. Thank you. To validate this even further, we are putting our prototypes through the highest level of scrutiny in the neonatal intensive care unit, where we are validating our algorithms with standard electronic medical record data from contact-based sensors. So, and this is very cheap. It costs as little as two Starbucks coffees per month, or as little as your Netflix subscription. So our goal is to simplify and help parents like Siva transition to parenthood as seamlessly as possible. And personally for me, I like to build products which helps you take care of the people that you love the most. Thank you.